what's up guys on fire and guess what Miki has joined the dark side and when I say dark side I mean EA but hey this could be a good thing because we are finally gonna get our hands on another battlefront game yep battlefront you know the game of the Star Wars kind of it was kind of like battlefield in a Star Wars environment back then and when I first played it, I, I was just like, wow, this is going to be like reliving my childhood here. Even though I wasn't really a child playing it, I was more of a teenager. But still, it's still part of it. But it's still, I cannot wait for this game. But we're not going to be getting it until at least 2014, 2015. That's where I'm going to guess, around 2015. And even though we have to wait about two more years to finally get it, I am excited for this game because Battlefront was just so much fun. That's why I'm showing you some Battlefront gameplay for you because uh, it reminded me so much of it and since I'm able to play the game on my 360, I just had to play this game to just relive everything that I remember from this game because come on, this game was awesome! It was just so much fun and even if you're not a Star Wars fan, you're still gonna have a good time because it's a lot there's a lot of things you can do and that's why I like this game and I've always treasured it and I'm actually excited because not only that but it's it turns out that the makers of Battlefield Dice and the makers of Dead Space Visceral Games are going to be working on this game and come on Come on, putting DICE working on the multiplayer and then having Visceral Games working on the characters and environments and everything. And then there's also rumors that Bioware, the original people who made the Knights of, Old, of the Old Republic, I believe it's called. And they're the ones that made that and there's also rumors that they'll be coming back to work on it too. So just think of it, having all three of those developers working on what made Battlefront so much fun. I really do hope that they stick with the basics and stick with what made the game the game of Battlefront and I don't want anything to be changed uh, too drastically because I would not like to see a third person shooter turn into a first person shooter from the alpha footage that we've been seeing on the internet lately but I'm hoping that that can be changed and hopefully it can go back to the way on how we know and love Battlefront. Who wants to play Battlefront as a first person shooter even though it would be a pretty cool thing but I really do want to stick with the basics and stick with third person. Now, having the game look like, uh, let's say, Dead Space, you know how it's third person? That would actually be a decent uh, kind of camera angle and making the environments very well made. And they're probably going to be using the Frostbite 3 engine that powers Battlefront 4 that we've seen in the trailer of the 17 minute trailer and if you haven't seen it I'll put the link in the description box so you can see that so what do you guys think do you think this is a smart move do you think that they shouldn't be with dice and visceral games do you think that Disney made a wrong choice by partnering with EA and for these uh, next upcoming Star Wars games I really do want to see another Star Wars game and I really am excited for Battlefront 3 because ever since I heard rumors about it being developed, I was just like, oh my gosh, I gotta play this game because this game was so much fun as uh, when I was growing up. So, what do you guys think? Leave some comments down below because I want to hear from you guys and I want to hear what you guys think about all this. Do you think it's a little too soon, too late? Do you want these guys working on it or do you want to see somebody else work on it? So as always, I'm Fire, and you guys take care, and don't forget to ignite that like button because it really helps me out, and I'll see you on the next one. Although I'm leaving, the Force will be with you, always.